Hey guys, this is the reading for Leo for September of 2021. If this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome. And if you're coming back, I want to say thank you for being so patient with me while I took some time off during the summer to really kind of just enjoy life with my children and travel as much as possible after the year that we have been through. Uh, so thank you for sticking with me. And if you guys are excited that I am back, please give me a thumbs up and help me reach more people with these messages that we are doing today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I do want to let you guys know that I do have a free three-day challenge coming up on September 13th to heal your childhood trauma. So trauma is really just a disturbing experience. So if you have childhood wounds, abandonment issues, um, you know, feel like you're a people pleaser, over giver, uh, overachiever, definitely this is a challenge you're not going to want to miss. And you can find those details in the description box and the comments below. Ooh, oh boy, that card fell. So give me a second while I grab it all the way over here. Please remember that I read these cards intuitively um, and I also read the energy of the cards. So <laughs> the card just flies. My gosh. Wow. Um, so you'll get the message from spirit, but you also get the energy. I'm an energy master. So therefore I love doing energy work and working with the energy. These are some good cards. I'm very excited. If you know, I'm a fellow Leo, so I am very excited to see some good news for us. All right. Where do we start? Let's start with the overall energy. Now, this is really funny because this is like the only kind of, uh, not, not so great card I'll say, but the five of wands is about conflict. So this might be conflict in your mind for the month of September. I feel like September is going to be a really, really good month for us. But with this, like you've got to get your mind right. Get your mind in a good place because there could be back and forth, pull and tugs. Should I, shouldn't I? Am I ready? Am I not? Making excuses. These types of things that could be happening here as the overall energy. So for the month of September, and I know we're already in it, but definitely like reflect on where your mind is at and try to stay as present as possible and stay out of fear. Because in the beginning of the month here, we've got the King of Cups. We've got the nine of pentacles, we have the nine of wands, and we have the nine of swords. So nine, nine, nine is, is basically completion. This is the end of the cycle. So in the beginning of the month, you've got the king of cups, which is just about like this, this energy of just knowing who you are, being who you are, and letting life kind of play around you. And it, to me, it's like not taking anything personally and just living. And just allowing yourself to live. Um, sorry for the noise as the landscaper. <laughs> what is going on with this reading, guys? Um, we've got the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands with the Nine of Swords. This is an independent card. So some of you could be getting out of a relationship. Some of you could just be feeling more independent, maybe healing a lot of yourself so that you feel more like yourself with the Nine of Wands, kind of like standing in your power and the nine of swords, to me, this is about being able to sleep. So again, take this as it resonates. It's, you know, it's a general reading. So check out your moon and rising signs. But at the same time, this is kind of just like really stepping into you, stepping into who you are, stepping into who you're meant to be and being able to kind of just let stuff go. And I feel as though when you do that, Again, stay out of your mind because especially with these nines, as a completion comes, I'm hoping you guys can't hear that, but as a completion comes, you know, our ego can start to really fight us. And if we allow that ego to kind of win, we stay back to where we were, but we're not meant to do that this month. This is the month I've been waiting for. Like I have just felt like September is the month. And it's like everything that you've been wanting and wishing for is like coming to fruition this month, or at least the start of it is. So, but you've got to get your mind right in order to get this in. So the middle of the month here, we've got the temperance card. We've got the two of wands. We've got the six of pentacles and we've got the four of swords. Temperance card is about balance. So make sure that you're having balance. Now there's so, so many different things about balance. So there's balance between work and play. There's balance between masculine and feminine energy. There's masculine, um, there's balance between giving and receiving. There's balance between the ego and your intuition. So 
overall, and this is again where this five of wands, like you could be listening to your ego and not your intuition. So overall, like, please, please, please like reflect on the balance. And whenever you're starting to feel anxious or depressed or your heart racing, realize that that's just because you're out of balance, which is out of alignment. And when you're out of alignment, you start to feel that if you go onto my YouTube channel, um, I do have under the lives, I believe that, that like how to get back into alignment quickly. So you can check out that video um, because you got the two of wands, the six of pentacles, four of swords. So the two of wands to me is you've got two directions that you could go. So you could keep doing the same thing or like you could take a deep breath in and start to do something different. Take the risk that you've been wanting to take that you're scared of, that you stay in your comfort zone so much. But like, there's something that's calling you and it's like, allow it to call and take the deep breath in and let it out and follow what your intuition is telling you to do. And really for a lot of you here, that's going to be walking your own path. So this could be coming out of the closet in many different ways, sexually, um, spiritually, any other way, <laughs> any other way, religiously, whatever it is for you. But this could be, this is about walking your own path. So the question I'm going to ask you here for this month is what have you been hiding from the world that you're scared that people will judge you for? Or what have you been hiding that you're scared for people to see? Um, this is the truth of who you are. And if you're not recognizing it, if you're not creating it, if you're not making it visible, then that's the truth that you're hiding. And the universe feels that the energy feels that your energy feels that people can feel that in your energy. So be who you are and come out, like come out, speak your truth, speak your messages, speak what you want to speak that you think other people would judge you for that. That's the message here. And I think when you do that with the four of swords, you're going to be able to kind of, again, breathe deeper, relax more and feel like a whole weight has been lifted off your shoulders here in the middle of this month. And then oh, <laughs> I can't even the abundance that happens and, you know, working with energy is just an amazing thing. And when this happens here, when you finally let go and speak that truth and be who you are, the universe literally opens up. And in the, in the ending of the month here, we've got the two of cups. We've got the 10 of cups, the ace of wands and the three of cups. I, it, this is beautiful, beautiful energy. So there's a new partnership, a rekindling is what I'm also hearing here for some of you. So this could be something in the past that's coming to fruition again. Um, you know, there's a little angel here. So I do feel like some of you might've had past loved ones that have passed away. Uh, I'm getting a little emotional with that. So there might be some, some people that have passed away, whether it be in this month or last month. Um, but they're your guiding light right now is what I'm feeling with this. I'm, I'm not, never really called to that, but I feel as though there are loved ones that are your guiding light and they're directing you. And that is very emotional. So let me know in the comments if that's that's you because that message is is definitely for you. You got the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Wands. So this is the completion. This is the new beginning. So I feel as though with this Ten of Cups, you can see the family. And, you know, after the Two of Cups. So somebody might be bringing somebody into your life at the end of this month. Again, I don't like to say it's romantic because I don't want to get in your head. But it could be romantic, it could be friendship, it could be partnership, it could be within your family, maybe you're rekindling a relationship, like I had said. But I do feel as though it's meant to be here with this. And it's like, you've got to get out of your head and allow it in to be able to have this brand new beginning. And with the three of cups, like for me right now with this card, I'm feeling party. So I'm feeling like celebration here with the three of cups. So some of you could be going to a wedding at the end of the month or could be in a wedding or maybe you're getting married, but definitely um, they're also making me feel like this is very fast progress. So th this relationship, this partnership, this union could very move very, very quickly into this three of cups energy. So what I, I feel like it's going to go boom, boom, boom. And then it's like, um, it's like excitement, excitement, excitement. And then back to like, uh, oh man, how do I explain this energy that I'm feeling? Um, I'm, I'm just going to say it. It feels like home. So it feels like it's just right. It feels, it feels right. It, uh, if that makes sense, if I can explain that right. <laughs> it just feels, 
at peace. It feels there's there's no toxicity. Um, it just feels like you you are where you're meant to be. There we go. That that's a good way of explaining what I'm feeling. You are you are where or who you you are with who you are meant to be with. Okay. Whoo! Wow, what a great reading here. So let's see what else we got. What other messages do we have for Leo's? They're making me feel like things are going to be uncomfortable this month for you because you're moving into a space that is kind of not known. So again, just watch out for this five of wands and how your ego, we're going to pull one more card. They're telling me um, how your ego is coming into play. And these are the triggers that I talk about. And if you join the childhood challenge, uh, we will definitely talk about triggers so that you can understand what they are and how they're playing a role in your life. So Realizing those triggers is going to allow you to heal through whatever the uncomfortable stuff is during this month, uh, whatever's pushing you to, to feel this conflict in order to get to this abundance at the end. So we've got the three of wands here, which is dreams of change. So dreams of change. We've got the ace of wands, which is follow your dreams. We've got the seven of cups, which is says decadence and indulgence. And we've got the eight of wands here, swift decision. So a lot of you could be dealing with a lot of work stuff. Um, we've got one, we got three wands here and we've got a lot of, um, let me see what we got up here. We got some cups too. So work and love is definitely playing a role this month. So it could be combined. It could be separate. Again, general readings, take what resonates, but you're dreaming of that change. And with this ace, like it's a new beginning. Just be careful. Um, don't go too fast. Uh, don't go too deep too fast. Um, make sure that you kind of step back and reflect. And again, realize your triggers. Realize what's happening. Awareness is key this month. And we've got the swift decision. So you are going to have to make some decisions. But let, let's talk about this card for a second. So the, the seven of cups with this indulgence. So this could be that addiction. This could be um, you know, sometimes when we get into a relationship, the very beginning, it's very addictive. It's very, um, in, uh, you know, you get infatuated with it. Um, take a step back and make sure that you go slow. And because remember how I said, this is going to go fast, 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 and then it's going to be good. But I also want you to keep a level head during whatever's happening this month. Again, because you're going to be in this, this ego, I want to say over here with the five of wands, but allow yourself to, they're just telling me do things differently and don't indulge very quickly. Okay. Step back and see things for what they are. Don't know. This is like narcissism, right? So they, they love bomb you and they make you feel like they're your soulmate and everything like that. You want to step back, take a breather and, and see. And again, it doesn't mean it's just romantic. It could be friendships. It could be work partnerships. Like there's narcissism in every type of relationship. But they're just making me caution here for this cup of the seven of cups here for this card. All right. Let's see. What question do we have for this month that we need to ask ourselves? What question do we need, Leo's need for the month of September? Please tell us. When was the last time I couldn't stop laughing or smiling? Go back to a moment when you laughed so hard you almost peed your pants, or did. Feel the laughter grow in your body, your cheeks hurting and eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously and find the joy in the little, littlest things. Note to self, laugh more often. And today's soul action, make somebody laugh today. So this is a really good reminder here, especially with the five of wands energy of this confusion, conflict, you know, not knowing what to do back and forth type of energy is when you find yourself in that energy, go out. Like, to be honest, like I love TikTok. I'm on TikTok, but I'm not really on there. I'm going to try to get back on there. But um, I love TikTok. It makes me laugh like crazy. If you're watching the right things, like it just makes me laugh so hard. Uh, like that I laugh out loud. So when I'm all in my head, like I will space out and I'll go to TikTok and just like, again, bring that happiness, bring that laughter because laughter, like they said, is healing. So allow yourself, figure out what that is for you that like allows you, maybe it's playing with your children, maybe it's watching a comedy show, whatever it is for you, but allow yourself to have that time to just laugh and smile. And, you know, the, the best thing about healing is 
when you laugh, it's like you're laughing with your whole soul. It's not like this fake laugh because you're miserable. And this is what we're going to work with in the childhood challenge. But, you know, you're laughing from the inside of your soul. And like in that moment, you feel so happy and free that it's just, I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful feeling. And I hope you guys let me know in the comments, like, have you experienced that when you just laugh, like you were in the moment and like, you literally feel like you're just, there's nowhere else you'd rather be right now. And you're just like, so happy. So anyway, that is how I feel. Um, so Leo's go out and get it. Stay out of your head for the month of September. You have a beautiful ending of September coming in. Like just let go, surrender yourself. Let me see what these cards were here. Yeah. Walk your own path, speak your truth, be who you are. And if you're feeling that way of like, you can't be definitely join my, uh, heal your childhood trauma challenge, because we will definitely dive into that. All right. You can get that in the description and in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this reading and make sure you hit the subscribe button with a little bell notification to get notified when I come out with more readings. Much love to all of you. And if you haven't received my book or got my book, It's Not You, It's Your Energy, teaches you how your energy is creating chaos in your life and how to protect it and clear it so that you can let go and speak your truth. All right, much love to all of you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.